Hey everybody, this is Arathus, and welcome to RimWorld. Now, this isn't my normal RimWorld series. I decided to do something special since I haven't played a RimWorld campaign in a long time. So what I decided to do is I decided we were going to go with Star Wars. It's a mod that I wanted to play with for a while. And so basically I just went through the Steam Workshop and decided to get every Star Wars mod that I could that wouldn't conflict with each other. So we have Star Wars armor, Star Wars weapons, Star Wars factions, Star Wars races, and the Force. So yeah, should be interesting. So let's get right into it. And apparently we just landed and we have a notification of war. The Rebel Alliance has declared war on the Galactic Empire. Infighting may occur on your territory. Uh, let's try to avoid that. This is going to be hard enough as it is. All right, so where should we build? I mean, we have a nice little hollow here. I could actually wall off a nice little space for my people to survive in very quickly. So might do that. Oh, and additionally, the difficulty we're going to be playing on is Savage. I have played Savage before, but I have not done a series while playing on the Savage difficulty. So this may be disastrous. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and make it so we can mess with all of this stuff. I'm sorry, is that my pet fox? No, he's just he's just here. Okay, sure thing. Who's my best shooter? Because we have a rifle. The force. Something is awakening. Funny. Do you have the force? Only he has the force? Well, okay, I'll take it. Ten... Eight. Eight. Okay, so Arathus, you get the rifle. You get the revolver. It's fine. And you go get the knife. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Process of elimination. Are you actually good with the... You are not good at melee. Are you good at melee? Eh, it doesn't matter. I've already equipped everybody. Are you guys already flirting? Good lord. Put on the flak jacket. Put on the helmet. We'll get him equipped. He's going to be our primary fighter in the short term. Need recreation variety. Hunter lacks ranged weapon. I don't recall making you a hunter, so that's kind of on you, dude. Zone... Ooh, fishing zones. Yeah, I know quite a bit has changed in this game since the last time I played. I know some of my mods that I normally use have added new functionality. And I know the base game has added a bit more functionality little by little. So, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Unhappy nudity. Who's nude? You're nude because you... Okay, I was about to say, you shouldn't... You got pants on, dude. Why are you complaining about nudity? All right, let's get a growing zone put in quickly. Right next to the stockpile works. For now, we just need to put stuff in. Yeah, plant potatoes. I'm okay with potatoes. I'm going to get the potatoes planted first, and then I'm probably going to start putting in walls. A mega wolverine? What the bloody hell is a mega wolverine? Ground runner? Oh, okay. Yeah, it took me a second. I got a few mods installed that basically expand the vanilla game. Uh, they don't do anything to balancing. It's just like, here are is a larger variety of animals. Here is a larger variety of vanilla weapons. They're not any stronger, any weaker. They're just new. So, yeah, there we go. Oh, I'll get you guys bed in, in a second. You know what? We might just start with this. Somebody go claim this. Let's deconstruct that then. Somebody go get that. I swear to God, if there's already mechanoids. <laughs> oh Lord, you are a slow builder, aren't you? Nice. Okay. Is there a roof on this? No. Okay, cool. I guess. <laughs> I'm just going to throw a few beds. I also, in case you can't tell, I like expanded, like, furniture. 
So I've got furniture, classic furniture, extended furniture, and furniture plus. Damn it, we're going to have variety this time. I don't want to like block off the door, so we'll squeeze beds in here however we can. Throw this in. And as always, when I'm playing a RimWorld series, if you see a character that you want named after you, please, by all means, let me know. Pretty much the only way I'm going to turn it down, if you want a character named after you, is if it's already been renamed for somebody else. So. Cool, that's done. We have a place to sleep. Now let's get some walls built. I'm going to throw some embrasures down because you never know when you're going to need to defend your territory. No, I don't want to build that many embrasures. Basically, I just want a bunker. Like a nice little bunker and then normal walls, so... Yeah, I can do that. Wooden short wall. Yeah. Go ahead and put that in. And I'm just going to put this little wall out here like this. This should provide a nice little firing area. Yeah, you should be able to shoot at an angle. Yeah, I like that. What's going on? Oh, it's trying to make me do the tutorial. Botched construction. It's a wooden wall. I mean, sure, <laughs> you're going to botch construction, whatever. This thing concerns me. So, you know, I would really love it if you got this side of our base shut down before something comes and tries to eat us. Oh, I built short walls there. I built short walls everywhere. Son of a... And, of course. That was on me, though. I can't really... I can't really blame the game for that. I wish my replace mod would actually work with those, but... I eh, guess not. Yeah, break it down. Sons of... I don't even know why I have short walls. Like, they make no sense for me. Okay, cool. Those are actual walls. Ah, right, yeah, go to sleep, guys. You don't really need to clean all that, lady. I have a mod. As soon as it rains, the out outdoors are going to be fixed, okay? The outdoors are going to be clean. Where the bloody... I'm going to say no, dude. You can't go out there. I'm going to say the same to you. Oh. Well, I guess with some of our packaged survival meals, some of us should go out there. So you probably build a wall. Probably this way and then down. Just to protect ourselves and give us some space to build. Like, I know this isn't going to be the most effective of bunkers, but it'll work. I 
Like, I want to restrict people to the home zone. I always want to restrict people to the home zone, unless they are hunters. Because, as you can see, our people are dumb. We're going to build a wall. Go stand on the other side of the wall. <laughs> Don't mind us. It's not a big deal. It's like, ugh. <laughs> okay, I do need to cut down some trees, though. Chop and build, boys. Chop, chop and build. There we go. At least you guys stayed on this side of the wall. Good God. All right, orders. It's a wall, right? Normal wall? Nope, I think I picked the short wall last time. Do this. Yeah, this is a very temporary thing. Not the short wall. So yeah, I absolutely will not be... Yeah, it works. But now over here, the embrasure will kick out here. Ah, son of a... Ugh. I mean, that's going to be useful later, but it's not useful right now. Well, I guess that's just kind of where the bunker is going to be. And I'll just go out one space. Okay. Need to go put the normal walls beneath this. And then we can trigger our people to go build they stuff quickly. This will let us build at least somewhat. Um, around this little steam geyser. I'm just going to connect right there. So we got a nice little base area right here. Might as well just put one embrasure down here. Get to it, guys. I'll probably put a door somewhere. I haven't decided where I'll put the door yet, but as long as it has a door, right? Okay, now we have the first setup for our home zone. So our home zone is going to basically be everything inside this walled area right now. Nothing outside of it, despite what our people up here seem to think. And I think I need to include the home zone, like, needs to include these, because if not, uh, they won't repair them. If I remember correctly. Been a long time. Hey, you know what? There is an option. There we go. Turn that off. I very much dislike the game deciding to expand the home zone on its own. Always been a little pet peeve of mine. Is unnecessary. But we'll get this cleared up. Excellent. I think I'm going to put my door like in the middle of an embrasure on each side. Because our dudes can still take cover behind the door. All right, now restrict. Home. You guys can only leave if I tell you you can leave. I also need to... Yeah, I also need to roof that in. Alright, there we go. We now have a stockpile. 
Might as well be able to put our crops in the stockpile, right? Zone. Growing. Let's do another growing zone. Hopefully we can grow some heal root. I think we can. Our dude should be capable. Need defenses. I'm building defenses. Pirate raids will start soon. I get that. What the f... What was that? Oh, it's wolves howling. Good God. What'd you fight? That's oh, a coyote. You got hurt by a squirrel. Kind of a weak coyote, but... Uh... Now we need orders. Chop some trees. We need the wood. In fact, if you can, chop all the trees inside this area. I'm, I am designating plants. Why'd you rush me? I might have to kill a mega wolverine. Like that thing looked like it was trying to murder my people. Are you harvesting a pine tree? Because you don't seem to be doing anything, dude. You were just kind of standing there. Security. Visitors have arrived at the colony. Uh, yeah, I don't have guest beds, so refuse until I have guest beds. Otherwise, they're not going to be happy. Can I can you go away, tutorial? Security report, yes. So that's another mod I picked up. It lets you actually detect... Like, your colony has a radius around it. And... Basically, it can detect when raids are coming. So raids no longer just teleport into your territory. Holy crap, that's a lot of mountain. Yeah, they don't just teleport into your territory now. They have to arrive and come for you. Like, so they have to, they'll spawn, rather than spawning, spawning on your base, they will spawn on the world map. So, yeah. So, yeah. All right, what do we need? Minor break risk. From what I understand, we're going to need food. We're going to need a place to cook said food. I mean, we're okay for a little while. I mean, we're harvesting. We're making crops. Let's build a small kitchen. Slash dining room. And then let's get on joy, recreation, whatever. I don't care where it goes. I mean, it can go right here. Have fun, guys. Does it look like you'll be here? Northeastern Endler? No. Should give your faction a name. Eh. Hmm. Horistan, the Orinum, Planets Nation, Kin League, no, no, eh. We could just call it the Accord. <laughs> it sounds like a car. Yeah, you know, we'll just call it the Order. People can people can derive from that whatever they will. Pumpville, that that sounds bad, actually. <laughs> The Solidarity District. Hmm. What should we go? I just kind of like to see what they offer. So far, I don't like any of them. Yeah, we'll just go to our normal. There we go. Get up in there. And start building some recreation. Coyotes killing a coyote. I mean... If you guys need to cannibalize each other, I'm not going to judge. It is kind of messed up, though. Alright, let's build. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really like how this table fits in here. Maybe do this so it's expandable in the future. 
Yeah, I don't like that either. Hmm. I do have linking tables, though. Which I really don't want to use at the moment. What other types of kitchen tables do we have? One by one. All right, yeah, we really, we really don't have a lot of kitchen tables. That sucks. Actually, don't mind that one, but let's just use the big one for now. And we'll put some chairs. We don't need many for now. But let's plan for the future just in case. All right, so there you go. You guys have a place to eat. So you guys don't have to whine at me because, oh, we don't want to eat on the floor. Which always bloody happens. Like every damn time. And I think this will probably be our kitchen. Just for now. And it'll be our fueled stove. Wow, that, that kind of exploded up, didn't it? Where did that come from? Classic furniture, a mad hair. And Beatrice is on a food binge. Lovely, Beatrice. Lovely. Not like we, not like that's something we could have used for now, but hey. Hey. I do like these tables more than what I built, but you know what? It's too late for that now. Okay, so the chair goes over there. The beds are nicer too, good God. Who attacked me? Oh, it's the bloody mad hare. If I swear to God, if you get killed by a mad hare, I am going to have severe issues. Seriously, all you all you dudes. Oh, he got it. <laughs> you don't even need to help him. He got it. Good. Now that the mad hair is dead. Probably have to deal with a coyote later. That's probably not great. Are we out of wood again? Jesus. Let's cut down some trees. You know what? I don't even care if this is a pure kitchen. I need research. I'm gonna go to classic furniture because they have apparently a better looking research bench in my opinion. And then we could start working on some of the other research. Oh, you're no longer pigging out on food? Okay, you plan on being a decent member of our society? I can build a grow zone here, which I shall do. This one is going to go for mm, cotton, right? Cotton. Yes, I want clothing. And then, since we are kind of where we want to be, I'm going to build another one here. And you are going to provide me with corn eventually. And then I'm going to start mining. But all this other crap needs to be done first. Bills, add bill. Cook four simple meals. Oh, now you're killing squirrels for me. You know what? I'm okay with you killing squirrels for me. I appreciate it. I am very concerned about you, though. I feel like that thing's going to try to eat me. And I can no longer see how hungry these things are. I'm 
might want to try a hunt at some point. But for now, let's get our buildings put together. Thank you, Bones. Research. Okay, what we're going to want is we're going to want... Pause it for a second while we look at this. All right. Sterile attire. Man, there is a lot more stuff in here than I remember. Probably because of all the mods. In fact, it is because of all the mods. <laughs> Star Wars races. Oh. Twi'lek head coverings, Wookiee bandoliers, and Ewok tribal clothing. Not sure I'll use any of that, really, but hey. I might. We'll see. You know what? Let's research batteries. And then I can research generators. Okay. Get those trees, get our meals. Pretty sure we can already build like air conditioning and stuff like that to build a freezer. We can. What we can't do is build much in the way of power. Build wind turbines. Probably not a bad idea at the moment, but we don't have batteries to store the power. So right now it'd be kind of a waste. Sorry, what just happened? Oh, you guys are rearranging stuff. Cool. Rearrange stuff. Let's get you guys to mining, shall we? I don't know what resources await us. Let's find out. Find me some iron would be great. I'm sure there's some out here. Oh, there's, one, there's some right here, isn't it? Steel, yep. All right. I thought they were all dead. What the? F You're going to be a problem, aren't you? You know what? As much as I don't want to do this. Okay, guys. Hey, guys. Pause. We need to kill you. You're going to be a problem otherwise. I can already tell you're killing everything. Oh, butcher table is what I need. <laughs> Whoops. It could just be made out of wood for now. Thank you. I'm sure there was one under um, classic furniture as well. That probably looks better. Actually, there really isn't. All right. Yeah, we don't have any raw materials to start cooking yet. And our survival meals are almost gone. The force... The... You, can, you can stop now. So the force awakens, huh? Arathus, explorer, an explorer, has discovered deep within themselves a mysterious power. Okay. Just just kind of randomly like that? Oh lord, if you're going to let me go to the dark side, I can just about guarantee you I'm going to go to the I'm going to go to the dark side. No, no, no. Oh, well, I'll take force push, but kind of want force lightning. <laughs> Crap. Wasted that skill point. Oh, I can put points in there too. Jesus. Okay. Well, we'll see how that works later on. However, for now, I am all out of time for today. So thank you everybody so very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video at all, then please, by all means, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, or share, or whatever combination of those actions suits you today. And yeah, I hope you guys are excited to see a new RimWorld series, because I know I'm excited to get back to it. Thanks again for watching, guys.